my people. I bring you here for a momentous occasion, the coming of our Lord. I give you our maker. I give you the one who has watched over us for eons and controlled our ways of life. He is now here in our time of crisis. Oh, what shall we do, O oh, humble maker of our world? Take me to your leader. Ah, uh, that, that, that would be me, O oh Lord. Uh, well, of course, uh, I was just testing your faith in your glorious creator, and, um, and what a great, great leader you've become. Uh. <laughs> well, I know. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Show me your world! <laughs> yeah! No, 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 no! Back, back to the savages! No! Take me to your museum of history! Hello, and I'm Dr. Moeller. I was subdued into doing education after it was found I was guilty of having plaque. I know what you're all wondering. Who is this God character? Really, we know the stories of teeth falling from the sky, orange soda, and nasal discharge that form our world now. But let me take you through a journey, understanding our great creator and master, God.
see you now. Well, I made a point of arriving here early because I thought my appointment was at 2.30. Oh, well, our last patient was in a hurry. Good afternoon, Miss Market. <gasps> Uh, please take a seat, Mrs. Uh, bouquet. Well, I've been looking at your x-rays, Mrs. Bouquet, and I think we may need to dig a little deeper. <laughs> Following is a simulation of the formation of the world, reconstructed from best available archaeological evidence. Do not attempt. I repeat, do not attempt. Any tongs, dear? Oh, 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 where'd I go? Oh, they're right here. Anyway, to make a long story short, we resolved, or I mean, I resolved, to make the world a safer place for our children. But not our children's children, because I don't think our children should be having sex. But I still think that it is our responsibility as good Samaritans to try to make the world a better place. Don't you agree, darling? Darling, are you listening to me? You know, dear, I, um, I, I, I kind of like my meat to be well done. Oh, 
Well, I don't know what to tell you, darling. I put it in the oven for over an hour. It should be just fine. Oh, did you forget to turn the oven on? Oh, goodness. I knew I forgot something. Gosh darn it. Oh, well, eat up. Well, you know, I, I just think it's perfect the way it is. It's just the way God made it for us to survive. It's going I'm to be a long night. And you know, me like that has a lot of protein in Reading. it. Reading. Healthy nutrients like eggs and beans and chopped liver. And it's just delightful, don't you think? Mm-hmm. Hmm. there, bud. Mold. I hate mold. You ain't got rid of no more mold. <laughs> Parachute man. I won't fail you again. Good morning, Evelyn. Good morning. Your first patient has arrived. Mr. Masochist. Stop! Ah. <laughs> 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 ah, Mr. Masochist, yes. Um, can you just give me a couple minutes to prepare everything? We'll have you right back, okay? Alright. <laughs> Can you bring in a microscope for me, please? Wait, I think I have one in my purse. Ah, lovely. Ah! 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 <sighs> Living in a world above the clouds, Dr. God practices his masterful care on other gigantic and sizerly challenged beings. Every few thousands of years, he gives us a, a new rule or a new, new model of behavior to follow. Each age of this world has been marked with the arrival and unfortunate departure of a new being. So it's often quite noisy, if I could interject a little bit of my own opinions on it. Hey, Astro. Stop! Yay! <laughs> Quick, I need to get my teeth pulled. Do a quick root canal. Mr. Masochist, you have no more roots to canal. I'll see you in six months. Uh, Evelyn, <laughs> can I get a coffee break? Tell Mr. Narcoleptic I'll be ready in about five minutes, all right? Your insult to my honor shall not go unchallenged. Then let the battle begin! Jab left. Kick him. Kick him with your leg. All right, all right, all right. That's good, that's good, that's good. Move a little. Oh god, no. The arrows, like the arrows you shoot. 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 Orange soda, where's my orange soda? Uh, you, you know, actually, I'm, I'm sorry, bud. I, uh, I got a little thirsty yesterday. I think I might have drank one of your bottles. Man. I'm winning! <laughs> I'm winning! <laughs> You're no fun! When God
God saw the tribe's strength and was, was spent battling each other, he introduced the age of slothful slumber, a time of peace and rejuvenation. Mr. Narcoleptic, the doctor will see you now. During which the people developed and advanced the various arts of proper tooth care. Evelyn, I'm taking a lunch break. Mr. Narcoleptic had a nightmare while I was operating on him. <laughs> Mr. Burtop, it's gonna be another 10 minutes. Oh, you did. Maybe if I... Uh... No, cause 17 and I... No, it don't fit. I... Let's see. <laughs> to start packing my own lunch. But then came the darkest chapter in the history of our fair world, when God resolved to cleanse the land of evil corruption and plaque. of years. The radiation is finally dispersed. We can return to the surface that our ancestors spoke so fondly of. Come, come. We must repopulate the earth. It would be 1,000 years before they would emerge again with perfect teeth and the worthiness to overspread the world again. Solved. Evelyn, you can send Mr. Bertov in now. Ah! Ah, you stupid kid in your mommy! Oh, I hate this! Oh, you get off me! Oh, you stupid eye! I hate poker and everything, and I lose my glasses! What is the age we enter and still enjoy is the age of prattling chatter. God desires us to be lively and full of talk, as a way of studying the foibles and follies of our past. Mr. Doctor Man, for the niceness that you give me, and I go now.
God's commandments are made clear to us by a gigantic plaque hanging in the sky, seeming to defy gravity, but we don't really question that. We are instructed to uh, brush three times a day, which rigorously cleans your teeth, and uh, floss regularly as well. Proper teeth care is the moral foundation of our society, and betrayal to that uh, lands you in a job in education. For further details, you should really check out the educational series Brushing and Flossing, Road to a Healthy Soul. And also check out my personal book, Fighting Gum Disease, Ginger What? Well, that's all the time we have from all of us at the Moral Molar Foundation. Have a good life and a healthy smile. I could get used to this. So, uh, why am I here in the first place? Let me show you. Oh, great maker, our tooth is plagued with decay. Our shores are being eaten away by your sober seas. Was this your divine plan of a slow end to our civilization? Or will you still bring salvation to our humble way of life? Every uh, world has a beginning and an end. But these, these, um, these ends are only materialistic for, in the end, it is our spirit that endures on forever and and ever and this this forever eternity complex is manifested rooted in a uh, strong sense never could ever everything's fixed all right How can you stand going through life without having any fun? It is but the way of the Lord. Ah, uh, but are you not drinking a sugar-based beverage? <laughs> but it's the blood of our Lord. Well, where does it say that the blood of our Lord is good for our teeth? I have followed the ways of the Lord, you, all my life. They've never led me astray. Do the ways of the Lord say you can't have any fun? Well, not per se, but it is implied. Where does it imply that? Well, in your strict regimen, it is mandatory to brush twice a day, and it is encouraged to brush three times a day and to floss after every meal. I myself brush four. Those are more like sweet man. guidelines. Why don't you just try using a whitening strip? But that seems too easy. How is our faith tested otherwise? Well, as long as your teeth are clean, your, your soul is pure. Really? Really, really. Well, it looks like the dance is ending and uh, everybody's kissing goodbye. I just happen to have two whitening strips here.
you a cashew girl. Each age of this world has been marked with a different arrival of a different screaming being, in which case my family has been killed off in a different way. This is my friend Bob. He likes to disappear. When I want him back, he can use right behind my ear. And here we have the Leiden household, a perfect American family in a modern American town. So I went to the store and, well, I, I, I bought, bought a calculator to compute all of the pogs I had bought in as well. And, and then I went outside and it was raining, even though it was sunny and there weren't any clouds, but it was raining anyways. And I came across this babble of dogs. I don't know why there was a babble of them, but there was. And the dogs started attacking me and the only way I could protect myself against the dogs was to use the calculator. I'm not sure how that worked, but it did. And, well, you know, cheesy bread. So wait, in the house, I was looking in the mirror and I saw my teeth and I couldn't believe that they actually resembled something other than teeth. I'm not exactly sure what I saw, but I made sure that I, I changed them. And, well, I'm sorry you're a tree and I'm not exactly sure how you would deal without teeth. And could you let me know how you live? 
And now we go to the Leiden household. Damn it, Logan. What is toothache be? Don't tell me what to do. You stay out of this. I need the fixing. Go work with the thing there and the bright. Give me something. I need narcotics. Come on, Mr. Dental Man. This shot's over. <laughs> <laughs> 